Hello again. Today we're going to cover the uh, Warrior gameplay and we're going to show you all the aspects of that. We're studying Windhelm right now outside the uh, player home. I believe there may be a level requirement to owning that so if you haven't got it yet maybe you're not high enough level. We'll just enter it. The reason why this is the perfect house for the Warrior will become apparent once we step inside. Um, there isn't another house in Skyrim that beats this house for warriors. Now this is the fully done up house. Lots of room. Uh, there's a kitchen, you can cook here as well, like you did in the Hunter video. Supports all the things you'd expect it to support. There's even um, an enchantment bench and an alchemy bench, if you want to do that. Some warriors might want to enchant their own weapons. Lots of cupboard space. Go upstairs, and this is why it's a good warrior one, you see. You've got no less than three mannequins, one massive uh, weapon rack, which I'm using. Lots of display cases, you see. In fact, this here, <coughs> that there is orc armor, a full set. Is that? Yeah. This here is the uh, Melvin armor, a full set. And here is the uh, blade armor, a full set, plus lots of space there. And that's a uh, statue of Diabella, which I came across doing another quest. Now, um, this is the bedroom. Now, if you're going to be a warrior, having this house is a definite bonus. I mean, as you can see, it's perfect. <coughs> now, just moving on. I collect a lot of junk here. I've got all kinds of weapons here. So let's just have a look at some of them. Start with a glass. 49 damage, you see. Weight 29. Ebony's 51 damage. Weight 30. So you see, there isn't a lot of damage difference between the uh, ebony and the glass anymore. And these smaller axes here, you know, I think some of these are one-handed axes. So uh, you can use them to dual wield them if you wanted to. Dual wielding, um, whilst causes a lot of damage, you sacrifice your ability to block attacks. So you take more damage while dishing more damage out. The idea is you win by causing more damage to your opponent when you're dual wielding than he can cause back. But there's a secret to that, and that's heavy armor. If you're using light armor, you'll probably get your ass kicked. Um, early on, you could probably find a full set of Dwarven armor in the ruins on that lot fairly fairly quickly. So you want to go if you're playing a warrior, go for the dwarven armor as early as possible. Don't bother looking for the ebony stuff early on because the game's level to produce that in a late game. Same with glass. Um, most of these enchanted blades that you get from um, doing jobs for the you know for the various jowls aren't really that good. Now. Um, you do get a nice set of light armor by doing the um, Thieves Guild quests. This is the Nightingale ones. In fact, I'll show you that. Uh, yeah, I'll show you this so you can see the armor side by side with what I'm wearing now. I'm sure there's more to it than that. Where's the others? There we go, Nightingale armor. Right, before we continue, this this is ebony armor. This is the best armor in the game so far that I've found. Right? This is the armor where you stand in front of a dragon with your axe and you shout bite me knowing you, you, you can beat him easily. The armor I'm about to show you now, right? if you try doing it with this you'll turn into a dragon McNugget. <laughs> Literally a snack for dragons. You can't do this with light armor even if it is good light armor. So now let's just have a look at the Nightingale Arm. Nightingale Armor is a special bonus thing. So this is it you see. This is pretty cool light armor for warriors that prefer light stuff. But if you're wearing light armor, you don't go toe to toe with enemies. You take them on at a distance. It's just a bad idea to use light armor in close in close combat. Right, that's a major change in Skyrim. It might not seem it when you're playing it, but trust me, I'm gonna demonstrate this now. Now we're going to go looking for um, something to kill, a dragon maybe. We're also going to go looking for uh, 
R and other things so you can see how to become a smithy since a smithy is likely to be associated with um, warrior stuff so let's go do that now right here we have a mine I found earlier which um, I haven't cleared yet but it should provide us with some raw materials needed for smithing we also need to hunt some animals and get some leather as well which is covered by the way in the hunter video if you don't show to do that but I'm gonna have to do it again here so hunters basically can use it to make profits but uh, you know smithies use it for uh, other things by the way this is Shadow Mare. Say hello Shadow Mare. Hello! Nice horsey. I hate the horses in uh, this game. Because it's designed for a console, the controls are absolutely atrocious. <clears throat> the Oblivion system was far, far better. Right. Now, when attacking anybody, you can either... This is supposed to be a quick menu, by the way. <laughs> it's a bloody joke. You can either use a shield, an axe, right, which is good for strike, block, or block and strike, right, or if that's, that limits your damage, or you can go for something a little bit better, which would be, if I can find it, well I know I've got it somewhere, it's not something I've dropped it. Ah, here we go. Or you can go for the the main event. This maximum damage, but not so good on defense. I don't know who this guy Thorgar. is. I'm the best at breaking up rocks. Thorgar says so. Right. Okay. He's a miner. Looks like we're not going to have any problems here. <coughs> so let's go see if we can find something to mine. I don't know whether these respawn at this point because they disappear from the rocks after you mine them but I've never seen them reappear there we go, oh. so we just get some more by pressing the E key just, you've got to have a pickaxe on you for this if you're going to chop wood by the way you also need an axe for that you can find pickaxes lying around all over the place if you look for them usually in mines like this now once you've got enough of this ore, it will run out. This is if you want to make your own armor by the way. We're going to show you the skill tree for that as well, so you know. Doesn't appear to be doing anything, does it? There we go. The, you'll see the rock change. There we go, when we've done it. Here's another one. Now, we do need to do a bit of hunting, and heavy armour isn't the best thing for that. So we might switch to the light armour for that, so we can sneak along. By the way, orc armour appears just after the Juma armour, usually in this game. So you can upgrade slowly from one set of armor to the next. By the time you've got to Ebony, you're usually pretty invincible. I mean you could take on trolls and bears in, you know with one hand while having your lunch with the other. That's not doing anything again is it? See the problem is see doesn't always do what you expect it to do. There we go, now it's working. Okay, now we've got some uh, oh, and you've seen how that works. Uh, we're going to go and uh, get some leather. That means hunting down some wild beasties, like I did in the Hunter video. Now, we're out here now to do some hunting. You could buy leather and leather strips from um, most smithies, 
but we're going to do it all from scratch here. And just like the Hunter video, we have to do this quietly. I'm in heavy armory, which is not the best armor to be sneaking around in. I think we got that one. Right. We don't need the meat this time because we're not a hunter. We're not doing this for meat. We're doing this for uh, the leather. So that's all that matters to us. Again, I'm round white run. Here's a dragon. We're going to need to kill the dragons part of this. So hopefully, he'll come down here and attack us. Or not. dealing with a dragon just yet. I want to be dealing with this first in an organised way so don't preempt me you git. There we go. Now when facing one of these little gits I recommend using a nice two-handed weapon since it's a case of who kills who first. Notice how they're trying to attack it from behind. One stroke, job done. Eat that, you dirty little cat. It also provides leather pelt, which is what we need, which is perfect. Now that is what you call the way of the warrior. <coughs> but we didn't want to show you that too early, unfortunately, so... Oh well. Now we'll continue with it. We'll pretend as if that hasn't happened here. And we'll just carry on collecting leather. And we'll do that again later on to a dragon. How's that? Something... Ah, here we go. Right. Let's see if I can get these for the run off. There's one. So it stands still then, do they? Missed it. I might actually show you how to kill a mammoth, actually, because whilst with the hunter it's a bit dangerous. Uh, it might actually be a bit safer as a warrior. Should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. We've got to lure one of these away from the uh, giant. See if we can do that. Oops. Another one! I love the way they attack like things. Let's see if we can do this twice. Oh, look at that! One dead kitty. This is what you do when you when with, with armor. Your armor is your protection. So you give up your ability to you give up your ability to defend yourself with a block for the sake of a strike. But the heavy armor effectively protects you anyway. Well, let's see if we can get this uh, mammoth to attack us. I don't know if you've noticed actually, but what I've done here is. Uh, I did a quick wait because I know that creates a save, so if I fail here, I can just reload. Just two of them. So, no, we need. Uh, where's my spell? Counting on taking two of them on. Can't see any healing spells. It's not good. You can't run away in heavy armor either, so if I can't get this. These ones are quite quick. All I've got to do is heal up high enough to take him on. You can't do this in light armor, by the way. If you try doing this in any light armor, you're dead. Even in some heavy armor. Get 
Okay, big guy, it's time. By the way, you can get really good two handed weapons, you don't need this particular weapon to do this. I just like it. There we go. Now, you see, mammoths, tusks, and whatever. It's a shame they've got no skins and stuff, but that's the benefit of a warrior, a real warrior. Don't do that in light armor. And I think we're gonna, instead of running around the country trying to find deer and stuff that clearly uh, don't want to be found, let's just go straight back to uh, Windhelm and do a little bit of smithing. We're gonna buy whatever else we need from the smithy there. Because you can pick up ingredients from the smithy. And once I get there I'll show you the skill trees needed for this.